but give us so much power and yet we know so little about them. So you have a battery and you don't know what to do and you're like, I don't know how to charge this silly thing. So what's next? You got one of these or one of those or one of these or one of these and you're like, man, what do I do? All right, <clears throat> so let's simplify this. First things first, read the battery. It's pretty simple. If you have a standard battery and you're just like, man, what do I do? What do I charge? What's the, what do all these numbers mean? So we have customers come in every day. This is kind of what I tell them. Multiply this times one and that'll give you your charge rate. Cause this is like your gas tank and we want to fill that up at a reasonable amount of time. And if your charger can charge one times this number, it'll usually be done in about an hour if the battery's dead completely. So that means you would charge that at 7.2 amps. And then that means you would charge that at 5.3 amps. And then this one at what? 4.3 amps, yeah, 4,300 milliamps. So all these would be done in an hour if this charger has enough power. And you don't really know that unless you look up some more information. How do we charge these dudes? Well, it doesn't really matter if you have an old charger like this, like this. You see that it has four buttons. Oh, you'll actually see that quite a bit with chargers. This one's got like a little digital display. What I'm gonna do, let's pick a charger. Let's do this one right here. Cause it's like an easy candidate, I think. All we're gonna do is just do a little quick, show you how to do all this. So safety first, never have this plugged in to a battery unless it's plugged in to here. Cause if you were to plug that into your battery and then have these ends out, oof, it'll be a fun day or a bad one. All right, just remember your charger may not be powerful enough. I know I've seen some of these batteries. I have one way over there on that window. It can be charged at 2C, but it's a 6S battery. 2C, 6S at 5,000 milliamps, that's 10 amps, right? So only charger I have that'll do that is this one. Not all chargers will do that though, because that one won't, it don't have enough horsepower. Well, again, remember I was talking about that math earlier. All right, so math, we're back here. We're gonna lock in our charge rate. Well, we know that's not right. A lot of times these can go back and forth. All I wanna do is match up what it says on the battery, 3S. And our plug here kind of gives it away as well, right? So that's there. I hit enter. Okay, now what? Well, nothing's flashing anymore. But if I do this, you'll notice that it changes settings. Well, today, I'm only gonna show you how to do this. The reason why is because most of the time people will discharge this all the way down, and if they don't, then that's another story. And then there's thing called lipo storage. But today, let's just talk about this. If you're charging a battery and you want these cells to all have the same voltage, remember there's three in this one and then there's three in that one and then there's two cells in this one. So if I want them to be the same, when I well, this little dude here helps to do that. So here, I'm telling the machine, I want it to balance these three batteries that are wired in a series to give me 11 volts at 5.3 amp hours of runtime. And I'm gonna refill it at that rate. And then I'm gonna hold this down and it's gonna usually ask me a question, watch. It says, hey man, are you sure this is right? Heck yeah, I did all my work. And that's it. Now from here, a lot of times you can check one little extra piece of information by hitting that plus symbol 
And that actually goes for this charger here. I've done it on this charger and any what they call four button charger where you've got battery type, these two little positive or negative things and then a, and a start button. You notice that right now it's charging currently at 5.3 amps and it's in balance mode. And then that's your total amperage it's put into this battery. And then if I hit that, it's gonna show me my cell block. Now this battery was in storage, so I'm gonna actually stop. Because this is a brand new battery and I wanna kinda of keep it there. So anyway, uh, that's kind of it. 